Hello everybody, video number four, vlog number four, Project Del Sol, Project Knuckles, Project whatever we want to call it. Unsure what this project is, but it is a Del Sol, so I'm going to go with that one. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you uh, pretty much my braking system that I'm going to go with. Obviously, I'm going to upgrade the rotors, upgrade the brake pads to something more race, um, something more race and daily use. Because like I said, I want this to be a weekend warrior. I want to be able to take a cruise out to the beach, top down and still be able to enjoy the ride, enjoy, you know, just driving this thing around. I don't want it to be something that only goes to the track, you know, once a month, once every couple of months, only during the summertime, springtime. No, I want it to be an all around nice car. So these are from a Civic Type R, JDM Civic Type R, because obviously we didn't have a Civic Type R out here in America until uh, the new ones that just came out. But this has the, I believe it's a 32 millimeter spline, not the 36 uh, from an Integra Type R. That's why I went with the Civic Type R was because my axles will go right into that. Don't have to worry about that. Came with these parts, don't need. Uh, upgrading those to some adjustable aftermarket ones. You got the brake lines right there. Uh, not the brake lines, the e-brake lines right there. I think that's the, where they come together. So when you pull up your e-brake, it pulls on those. Um, I don't believe I need these brake lines or e-brake lines, gotta call them correctly, but uh, I'm gonna keep those until I find out. I believe I use the ones that are on this car. I can actually put them on no problem. Come with the brake pads, I don't need. But right here, you got the five lug right there. Come with the pads. Don't know what brand pads these things are. Don't really care either because I'm changing them out. They still had some meat left. So no problem there. Uh, but as you can see right here, this bushing, you can see the crack in it. You can see how old it is. Um, this one's a factory Honda, I'm assuming, just by how it looks. I'm gonna be changing this out. Don't want really very much play if possible. Came with right there. The tow arms, don't need those either. Gonna be getting rid of those. The other tow arm. Uh, calipers. The rear calipers, I'm gonna be painting the calipers red. I'm gonna be going for, you know, painting them myself. I was originally looking to uh, do powder coating just because powder coating's a lot better. But when I found out that you basically have to rebuild the caliper, I don't think I need to rebuild these things right now. Maybe someday when I do go to rebuild them, you know, that'll be when I actually get them powder coated because it's pretty inexpensive to powder coat them if the, the, the caliper is taken apart because it can't have any uh, rubber because I guess uh, in the heating process, it'll basically burn those off, melt them off, whatever it is. But here's the fronts. So you see fronts. Doesn't look too much different than uh, the regular ones that are on the car, but offer a lot more uh, stopping power. There, those are there. Uh, once again, painting these red came with some uh, brake lines. Obviously not gonna need those, upgrading those to stainless steel. Now, here we got the front knuckle. So flipped it upside down. Everything seems good on them, except for, let's see if I can get some light so you can see that they're torn. But yeah, you can see that's torn. So gonna be replacing these with some extended ones. It'll help when I lower the car to try to get the geometry a little bit better. Um, I think I'm gonna be going with some Buddy Club on that. I know Buddy Club offers those, so I'm gonna be replacing those. Um, gonna be replacing those. I gotta find out what brand. I know, uh, I think Spoon has some, Mugen has some. I can go with the OEM Honda ones. I can go with a couple brands that have OEM style, or I can go with some that are harder. Um, energy suspension, it's kind of thrown out the window. I don't really care for energy suspension. Uh, so. I will update you as soon as I know exactly what brand I'm going with on these and pretty much we'll go from there. But just wanted to basically let you see that I do have the braking system and the parts that I was saying I'm going with. Um, it did come with some rims. I got these right here. All this stuff I got from uh, Willie B. Hard. Willie B. Hard, uh, you can follow him on Facebook. He does a lot of stuff with cars. Don't know really what he posts on Facebook, but uh, big question is, will he be hard? So, I believe these are from a EP3, 04 EP3, fit pretty good. I'm just not looking for, I believe these are 17s. No, they are 16s, 
I'm looking to go more for 15s if possible, if they're gonna fit, which uh, I believe most 15s will fit on this. They will clear those bigger calipers. So let me know in the comments below what brand trailing arm bushings I should go for. Um, also what brand uh, toe. I already told you I'm going with the skunk upper control arms. Um, so once again, just give me your advice in the comments below what you think about this beer, this bill, uh, what you think about my talking. Oh, I'm just kidding about that. Um, but you know, let me know what's going on, what you feel I should go for next. Um, what are the parts that I should get? Um, I will be taking these once I get the, the parts, I will be getting them pressed in. So I look forward to that. Um, look forward to every step of the way, showing you what I'm doing, showing you the status of the car. And to myself, just looking at it, trying to find out uh, you know, what I should buy next, what's gonna make this thing perform awesome and look awesome. Now I did tell you in a previous video, I believe it was video number two, that I had went to Vegas Invasion, I had gotten this uh, best engine there, along with my cheap Mugen wing. Upsets me right there. But, oh, here's my wall of cars, as you can see. Got some Del Sols right there. Got right here the modifier Del Sols. What is that, a 97? Another 97, got a folder, got the model, Japanese model, got micro machines. There is a Del Sol, I believe that one, that neon green one, not neon green, uh, metallic green. But here's the car I used to have. Regret getting rid of it, but you know, it was back in the day. So as you can see, had a lot done to it. It did also have nitrous in the back, but you know, this one was more for race only. It wasn't uh, really one of those things that I could daily drive and feel good about it. But once again, video number four comes to an end. Uh, this was pretty quick, like I said, I am putting out videos pretty quick because I am trying to get this thing put together uh, within the next month or so. So hopefully I'll be able to drive it um, and you know, just be able to cruise. That's what I wanna do. So. Once this thing, uh, I guess, adjusts, I guess I'll face it down. I guess it, for some reason, it's not uh, focusing. Probably too much of a glare. Let's see if I mess with this. Nope, not really focusing. But that is the end. Uh, don't want to run it on too long with my rambling. So hopefully uh, that doesn't deter you from hitting that subscribe button, that uh, notification bell, so you know as soon as I post the next video, because like I said, I'm putting these things out pretty quick. So until next time, have a good one.